YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction of today, we are going over to Poland and we are checking out some serious po um, folk Polish songs. And I think you might even go back to more. It's, you know what? Let me know what you title it. I think it's beyond folk. I think it's one of those um, druids kind of things. So is druid folk? I don't think it is. I think it's in its own terms. So I'm going to try my best to pronounce all of this. So this is Labitorium. Labitorium. Penisi. Uh, Lesili. Zulium. I hope. I'm pronouncing that right or doing some kind of justice. I'm going to go back to Google Translate. Even though you know Google Translate is so crap nowadays. I don't mean that. But it does help. But it doesn't help. But it does help. If that makes sense. Laboratorium. Um, Pisni. Laboratorium. Pisni. Pisni. Lesieli Zerali. Lesieli Zerali. And it's Laboratorium. 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 There you go. I said Laboratorium, didn't I? Laboratorium. Oh, yeah, I've done that right. So, look, that's going to be my next reaction of today. In the description page, it says, Laboratorium, Penisi, Sung Laboratorium, World Ethno, Spiritual, M Mystic, Folk Music. So, there you go. It is a World Ethno, Spiritual, Myth um, Mystic, Folk Music. That is a mouthful. It's an all-female group of singers from Poland created in 2013 using traditional... Um, polysophic singing, they so it's kind of very tight harmonies. At oh, I'm loving that. I'm um, singing. They perform songs from all over around the world, mainly Ukraine, Balkan, Belarus, Georgia, Scandinavia, Poland, and many other places. They sing in the a cappella as well as with a sharam, is it sh shaman drums and other ethnic instruments? Okay, I, there's some instruments that I can't even pronounce. Okay, creating a new space in traditional songs, addition, ad adding voice um, improvisions inspired by sounds of nature, often intrusive, wild, and feminine. So you're sort of like, you're singing to nature or you're singing with nature? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Sometimes when you, I, I'm, I have reacted to songs like this before and it's really, really deep our songs. And some people think it's kind of satanic or satanic or satanist or whatever you want to call it, devil. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, if you think it is devil and all that kind of stuff, then you really, really don't know your history. And what are you into right now? You know, what is your idea of demon and devil and demons and all this kind of stuff? You really need to read up and check your history. You know, seriously. And stop leaving your brain, uh, uh, don't stop leaving your eyes teaching you false things. Read up on it. Learn about things, man. Seriously. Anyway, look. That's me blabbing on for way too much. Let's go straight on to my next reaction of today, shall we? So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? I love the way how the wind makes pattern in the wheat. It shows you that you've got it moves in every kind of direction. Beautiful sometimes on the pattern it makes in the grass. I've got to name the instruments. I love the Carpathian vibes, man. Like I said, every country's got them. Just shows you how close we are. 
Because when you close your eyes, you think it's the native Indians in America. similarities in, in different countries. That must be doing some amazing stuff inside your body. I'll explain about that later. So that was Laboratorium, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, and Piersney, I'm going to go back to Google again, because when I'm saying it, I don't want you to jump down my throat and say, Uncle Mama, you done it wrong, I am following Google, because I don't, I'm looking at the lyrics, I mean the words, and I'm thinking, how do you, hell do you pronounce this? So, Laboratorium, Laboratorium. Piersney, Piersney, Lesseni Zerali, Lesseni Zerali, Lesseni Zerali. I'm looking at it, it goes, how is that, sp how is that lesson any? I, I, I don't know. But look, what I'm, look what I'm hooked upon 
is the traditional values, the spiritualness, the rituals and how close you are with Mother Nature. Because in this day and age, we're not as close to Mother Nature as we would love to be. We are cutting down more trees than anything else. We are literally killing, we are being suicidal. We are killing our planet, the planet that looks after ourselves. It doesn't make sense. There is so much things that we have destroyed. The rainforest is absolutely, we've smashed it. We have literally smashed it. And as long as the media, the whole media turns this blind eye, deliberately turn this blind eye and making us focus on silly things, we're not going to see the things that they're actually making us blind upon. They are literally smashing this planet up to pieces. And as long as we don't see it, we haven't got the access or the resources to see it as when, as easy as when we're sitting down and watching TV and watching a program. You know, we are being controlled in what we see. Um, and believe it or not, we feel that we have access to everything. We don't. We've only got access to the things that they want us to have access to. It's as simple as that. So we are blind on things that are slowly killing ourselves. And the, it's these thought process when I watch these amazing traditional elements, whether it be from Poland, from Ukraine or Germany or India or, uh, or indeed Africa. There is so many kind of traditional values when you go deep into the, into the country and you see the last pages of what's the last screaming note to the modern world. You know, you have to look for it. Some countries you don't really have to look for it, but there's some countries that you really have to look for the backbone, the traditional values of, like for instance, you go to Australia, you look for an Aborigine to tell you about Australia. You know, you don't look for an Australian. <laughs> but nowadays, you give that more, another, what, 30 years, you're going to end up going to an Australian rather than an Aborigine. That's what I'm talking about. We have to look for the deepest corners to find out the true history of that country rather than looking into the books and listening to what's accessible to you. How about watching or listening to the things that's not accessible to you? And like I said this, this visuals, this song has so much. The vocals was very resonant through, throughout the body. It was a, it was a medicinal purpose. It's, it was almost like um meditating and you're having the om because if you don't know about the oms om is the a meditating word that has a property element of medicinal pur pur purposes you know that om it vibrates throughout your whole body and it's a healing property and i feel that the songs that they're doing and the clashing of the harmonies it has it has some significance to the body i know it does and the funny thing about the, there's a thing I was watching yesterday about the plague and why uh, women were considered witch back in the days of uh, of the plague. It is just amazing. So, you know, the, the the plague was on the vermin like rats, and it was spread around uh, through the cities and everything else. But it was those it was kids and men that was dying more than anything, and people the 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 ones that wasn't hardly dying was the women's women. And the ones that, back in them days, they didn't know it was the rats that was carrying the plague and the vermins and all that kind of stuff. And But if any person had a cat in their house, then obviously the rats are not coming in. So if the rats are not coming in, they're, not, they're surely got a lesser chance of getting the plague. So what you're having is that women was burned at the stakes for being coming a witch and it's they were so happy to have a cat with them. So where you get the witch and the broomstick and the cat, that's where it comes from. <laughs> I was like, what? He goes, yeah, women that had cats never had the rats in their, ha in their house. So therefore they didn't catch the plague. It's as simple as that. But back in them times, they thought it was witchery. How can these witches not catch the plague? They must be witches. I mean, how are these women not catching the plague? They must be witches. We just hang them and burn them at stake and burn their cat and take their broom. It's just amazing. I just wanted to share that with you. It just, what I'm trying to get to is that this visuals opens up so many doors of thoughts and it hopefully should lead you down to find out truth. Because what you saw there was truth. Amazing band. Was it Rosanna? 
I have to keep an eye out for you. But until then, I salute you. Boom!